good morning, happy Monday. So today I wanted to do a bedding makeover. I have been basically dreaming up this serene space, this like comfy, cozy bed that you just wanna like slip into at night, get to bed early, and you wanna make your bed in the morning. That's, that's my goal here. Also, this was highly inspired by an ad that I saw, like an email that was sent to me by Target. They had this new line come out and I saw this picture and I was like, that's it, like that's what I want. So I'm gonna do my best to replicate that today. Uh, I went into Target and I had a look at all of the bedding from the new Casa Luna line, and I looked at everything, I felt everything. Their colors are so like in the palette that I love, that like rust orange color, whites and creams, and they have a green that's so pretty too. Anyways, long story short, I picked out what I thought would be good for us and our setup, and then I thought I would just kind of give you guys a review like of the different sheets and fabrics that they have, what I thought was scratchy, what I thought was good. So I'll give you guys that kind of insight as we go through and make it a beautiful, serene spa in here. <laughs> Without further ado, I just got the sheets washed this morning and they just came out of the dryer, so let's go ahead and put those on first and let's get into it. I did want to mention too this box that was behind me. This is what I just got from the target.com website and some pillows that I picked up. Actually, those were from JCPenney, but uh, they didn't have everything that I wanted in my store. I feel like this line is like selling out. So if you see anything you like, online is probably gonna be your best bet. First thing that I'm noticing with these sheets is not only are they super soft, but also see how much it's like hanging over on this side and then super long down here and then over here, it's about the same on the sides. And then I was still able to fold it up like right here, you know, just like a little tuck. And my old sheets don't do that. Like I definitely don't have this much room at the foot to tuck it in, which I really, really like that. And then let me just give you guys kind of a close up of the texture here. So these are the Supima um, Satin Sheet Set and it's in the white and this is a king size, but look how much room I have to tuck this under. Like it's not just gonna quickly untuck. So I'm really happy about that. It isn't advertised as like a deep pocket, but even with that foam pad, which is about about this tall on my bed, it's like a few inches, um, it's still, I was able to get that in and still tuck it. And these pillows, man, these look huge compared to what we've been using. Actually, let me go grab one, you can see. So this is the pillow that I've been using. See how much bigger, like the king size pillow is? <laughs> these feel so like fresh and fluffy and nice. It already feels so nice and I've only put the sheets on. time for the comforter. This guy is like all tied up in here. Let's see. I really debated if I should do the white or if I should do the cream, but my thought here is to do, oh, did I even tell you guys what this is? <sighs> it's the Casa Luna Heavyweight Linen Blend Comforter Set. So this one comes with your comforter and then it also has two of these like fringe pillows that look super cute. Not the full pillow, but the uh, sham. So here it is. Oh, I love this. So they're really soft on the back. And then it's got sort of the linen look on the front. Wow, this is really soft. So the front of it is like really linen soft. And then it's got the beautiful fringe, which I love how that just adds a little bit of extra texture. And then the back is like a lamb soft. I don't know what to compare this to. It's just, it's super, very, very soft. So with the ones that we're sleeping on, I'm gonna have like six king size pillows on this bed. Is that too many pillows? I don't know. I also got some other king size pillows from Hearth and Hand. They had some really cute, uh, I think they're called Sour Cream is the color. I'll show you guys that too. But is that too many pillows? Maybe. 
So I also found two of these online. It's the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, and it just calls them a King Sham. But I love this texture, like on the pillow here. It's all throughout the whole front of it. And they are just like a little bit off white, but I kind of wanted to switch up the colors too, not just all white. Somewhere we won't be scared. You will see me fly night. I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. One more thing that I want to add, um, it is a little bit wrinkly, so I could pop it in my dryer and just kind of steam wrinkle it out. I think I will do that. But before I finish up the bedding, I just got one more thing. And it's huge. So this is the Casa Luna Knit Throw. They've got the knit one and they've also got a hand knit one, which is like huge, chunky, beautiful, but I don't think that it would withstand the test of four kids. So I went with this one. I love this texture. And I got it in the cream, so it's gonna be a little bit like contrasting. So here's a look at that picture again that I was trying to use for inspiration. I just love, like, of course they have um, in this picture another comforter, like that's a whole quilt. Um, and I don't want my bed to be that hot, so this texture right here I couldn't add. But they've got the pillows and the heavyweight linen comforter set. The only last thing I'm seeing that I really liked from their picture that I don't have going here is they've got like this plant, like this branch that's a little more wild than the greenery. Well, it's not green, the, the straw that I have over here. It's, this is just too like straight and then a little bit of movement. It needs to be more like creeping and more, anyways. I have, oddly enough, I have this branch that I got. My husband and I were doing some engagement photos and we were like out in the middle of nowhere and there was these wild like weeds growing. So I saved them and I think that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna look really good there. So let me go grab that and then we will see, we'll see how it looks. See what I mean? It's like this giant weed thing, but it's so pretty. Like I love how it looks. Actually, this is a weed from my yard too. It was just a top I clipped off last year. <laughs> I honestly can't even get over how beautiful it looks. Like it's really coming together. It almost, it's making me like a little <laughs> emotional because I'm so excited about it. So I wanna give you guys an overview of how the room looks now. And I think we did a pretty good job of making my, my spa beautiful, comfy, cozy bedding set up. So obviously I'll link all of the pieces down below if you guys are looking for more information, fabric contents, and where it all is from. But to be honest, the majority of everything is from Target and a lot of the bedding and such is from that Casa Luna line. So over here I just put up a reed diffuser. This was from Casa Luna. Right here I've got a glass pitcher with this cork lid. This is so cool because I've been wanting to have something decorative where I can put water like at night. I can have a little cup of water. I clean the cup every single day, but this I just fill up at night. And then in the morning, I've got like room temperature water. I can drink a lot, stay hydrated. So I'm loving that. It looks so cute and I just keep it there all the time now. Over here, this is a box from Ikea. They have those really affordable and I just keep like my eye mask in there, some lotion, my book, that kind of thing. On top, this was that throw blanket from Casa Luna, and I love the texture on this. It's so soft. You do have to be a little bit careful so it doesn't get picked, but um, I love, love how that looks. And I did get the king size for the pillows. This here is the pillow that came with the comforter set from Casa Luna. It's the linen blend. Um, over here, I've got some hearth and hand pillows. This was the sour cream color. So it's a little bit off the white, which is what I wanted. I'm kind of mixing a little bit of the off whites with the whites and different textures. And then over here, these are the um, king size pillowcases that came with my sheets. So underneath, let me just pull this back. So underneath here, these sheets are from Layla Sleep, I believe. I'll have them linked. They are honestly the softest sheets ever. They are so beautifully buttery soft. Uh, initially, I like I mentioned, I had gotten the Costa Luna ones, and I just didn't feel like they were quite worth that 
um, expensive price tag. So these ones, absolutely 100% would recommend. And they do come in different colors too. So if you want the different thread color. And then on the pillows, they've also got sort of that thread color too, which I really like. They're just so soft. They're like bamboo, smooth, buttery. They're the softest sheets, so highly recommend those. As well as the comforter. It is a little bit more, um, like it's that linen feel, so it's, but it's a buttery linen, I guess. And on the bottom, it's kind of got like this quilted, also very, very soft, so I really do like this. Now that we've had a chance to sleep on it, it's, it's a great, like heavyweight, but even though we're using it in the summer, we're all right. Like in the night, when we've got our window open and it gets real cool, we pull that back up, but during the summer, I mean, honestly, most of the time we're just sleeping with the sheet and sometimes with the blanket. So I love the look of it. I love that I can just throw everything back on easily, drape that over top. And I just think that it turned out so well, just so neutral and relaxing and calm. And yeah, over here, this is just another Ikea box. I believe it came in a pack of two with that other one. The vase, this is from Ikea. This I picked up at Goodwill. Uh, I have no idea where this guy is from, to be honest. And then over here on the other side of the room, I've also got a mirror that sort of matches our uh, bedding set, which I didn't mention it, but we made these. So we built the bed and we built the end tables there. And we just went with some Anna White plans for that. So if you guys are into making your own furniture and stuff, um, you can find those easily on annawhite.com. And then for our lights, I'll link these as well. I got those on Amazon. The plants, these are actually from my yard. I just kind of cut those off some pompous grass. This vase here is from Ikea. This one, I think I got this at Joanne Fabrics. And then this was also from a <laughs> photography job that we did. Um, I collected some weeds. This mirror is from Target, if I didn't say that already. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I've heard that a lot of people aren't getting notified when my video first goes up and that's because you don't have the notification bell on. So make sure you hit that with all notifications and I will see you guys back on Monday. Bye guys.